Ooh, boys and girls. It's windy outside, but it's always windy here. How are you guys doing? If you don't know who I am, my name is Eric Mooney. Creator here at Mooney Vlogs. So, we're going on. So, we are going on a trip. Got an old duffel bag. We're headed to Thompson Falls, Montana. Four hour drive. Well, three hours, but we're bringing a trailer. You guys haven't seen the new trailer yet, have you? Fed it a little bit. Anyway, it's gonna be my camera bag. Um, so yeah, I'm just packing up a little bit. Probably should turn this light off. Um, so yeah, pack up a little bit. Um, I guess I can give you a tour of the trailer. And then yeah, tomorrow morning, bright and early, we'll be headed over to Montana for a weekend. It's 4th of July. So, we aren't going to be doing any fireworks or anything like that. Don't want to set all of Montana on fire. So, like I said, get packed up. Show you guys the trailer. Then we'll be headed off. Boys and girls, I'm tired, but I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go tomorrow, and we will give you a quick tour of our new trailer. So we'll start here in the kitchen. We got a little counter right here. We got a nice microwave, nice stove. This flips up. Another counter here. You got these... Uh, I don't know what they're called, but you put them in the sink here. Nice little dish rack, nice sink, nice fridge. Got some cupboards, big slide, nice dinette, a couch. We put this uh, drink holder for me. This pulls out into a bed. That's where I sleep. Two nice recliners for my parents. Some nice cupboard space up there, a TV, a stereo which plays music inside and outside and you can do it at the same time. It's also the DVD player, a fire pit, then you come over here and you got the bathroom, it has a nice shower. Let's see if I can get in here. Really nice shower. And then you got the bedroom. We got some chairs on top right now. Yeah, here's a bedroom. Uh, this is another actual small slide. But yeah, that's pretty much the trailer. It's got a nice little walk around loop de doop right there. But that is our trailer. So next time you guys will see me, we will be headed out to Montana.
Boys and girls, boys and girls, we have made it to the wonderful Thompson Falls area. We are here at Green Acres Ranch. Now this place is amazing. I'll do a quick pan and I'll also insert a pan with the better camera. But man, this place is super nice. Um, they're just getting started. I'll put a link down in the description below on how to find them. But yeah, I mean, they got set up. They got an Airbnb over here. Uh, I don't know, this pasture's probably about two acres, maybe. Sounds about right. They got a nice horse, it's pretty cool. Um, they got a porter potty in case you're sleeping in a tent or something. I got my target set up here. Uh, they also have a doe and a fawn, which I got some footage of a little bit ago. They had that over there. Um, but yeah, this place is really beautiful. I mean, the camera does not do this place justice. It looks super cool up here in the Rockies. Um, I don't think you get cell service all the time for like everybody, but there is a T-Mobile tower here pretty close. I think it's that one right there, but we get two or three bars of T-Mobile service. Um, but yeah, we're definitely coming back here again. This place is super nice. So. Anyway, I gotta help my parents unpack and uh, we'll be back in just a bit. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I gotta do some editing, so we'll throw in a quick time lapse. What's up guys sorry about the noise generators going so it is the next day and we're gonna do just a little bit of target practice so I bumped my bow up to 60 pounds because hunting season's coming around I actually got this thumb button release right now just because I didn't want to lose any arrows because it's not our property or anything and um, so yeah targets only at 20 yards nothing too crazy but we got the DSLR set up on the target and we're gonna do just a little bit of a video overlay. And uh, you're gonna get a small taste of what hunting might be like, because I'm gonna do the same thing, just it's gonna be a target instead of a, uh, instead of a deer. So I hope you guys enjoy. That was not the best shot, but we'll try it again. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We went and had a party with uh, the hosts of this camp and some of their friends. Really nice people here. And um, they're actually kind of into archery, which is really cool. Um, they shot some tournament, tournament and stuff. And uh, so obviously you guys know this is the bow I have now. But I just bought a new bow. Let's set this thing out. Boom. It's a Hoyt. 
which is my favorite brand of bow. It is a Hoyt Power Tech. It's an older bow. It's a 2008, so it's three years older than this bow. But it's got a cables or it's got a uh, yoke system instead of a binary cam system. So it's going to be way easier to tune. I'll be able to do some videos with different tuning and stuff. But also, um, we're going to do a whole custom deal on this. So we we are going to be taking all the stuff off and we're probably going to spray spray paint this bow black because I really like black bows um, where this brass is we're going to paint that this lime green because I really like that lime green the same that's on the strings we're going to do that we'll tune it and everything I'm going to have the guys at the Spokane Valley Archery Shop run through it and put on some new strings and stuff like that uh, it sat for a while so these rubbers right here for silence they kind of melted a little bit um, so I'll have them redo that kind of stuff I'll put all of my own stuff on here but we're yeah we're basically just gonna go through this bow and redo it and I think it'll be fun we'll we'll definitely have some videos for you guys and uh, yeah I'll try to hunt with it this year if I can um, yeah yeah, we're going to have some good videos. So, yeah, 4th of July. Probably have some fireworks tonight. Not us, but we'll see some. And uh, we'll pack up tomorrow and head out of here. But, man, if, if I were you guys, I'd definitely come up here. If you don't have a trailer or anything, they got an Airbnb. Um, it's so pretty up here. Those mountains are just wonderful. These guys are so nice. I, I'd definitely make the trip up here. So... Thompson Falls, Montana. Mark and Cindy B are their names. Really great people. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so here is the bow from a better view. It is a Hoyt Power Tech, and I believe it is a 2006. We are gonna be doing some work to this thing this winter. It'll be cool, and I will explain what we're gonna do right now. Some of the things we're gonna be doing to this bow Number one, we're going to take a lot of these gadgets off. I already got a quiver, so we'll be taking the quiver off. Uh, I got the sight and everything, so we're going to be taking all those accessories off. That's going to be step one. Step two, then, is we're going to be taking the strings off of this bow. This bow has sat for a long time, um, and the strings are just worn down and frayed. So we're going to be getting rid of these strings, and I'm going to be restringing the bow myself. It's going to be the first time ever trying it, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So it's going to be the first restring for myself. We're going to do that. We're also going to be painting the bow. I'm going to paint it black in these bronze touches. They're going to be a lime green, uh, just like what's on the string of my bow now. We're going to be painting the cams. And these rubbers, since it sat for a long time, they've melted. So we're going to buy new rubbers for that. Um, let's see. And that should be it for rebuilding the bow. But now we'll be able to do better tuning with a split yoke. This is a hybrid cam bow because it's got a split yoke on the top. But then it comes back down to a binary cam on the bottom. So that's a hybrid cam bow. So we're going to be going back and being able to tune properly. We'll be able to walk back tune as well, so we're going to have a lot better arrow flight, which just means shooting longer. Uh, we're shooting better at longer yards. So it's a 60 to 70 pound bow. So my guess, I think we're going to be able to shoot up to 130 yards this year for target. And depending on how good I get, hopefully we can be able to extend out to 70 or 80 yards on my effective bow hunting range. So that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It means a lot to me. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm always wanting to grow with subscribers, so please do that if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you leave a comment. I love talking to you guys. And I think that's going to do it. So make sure you guys go back and watch some of my older videos. Until next time, Eric out.